Hey guys, welcome to this video. Thanks for watching already in advance. This week is gonna be pretty busy and uh, I wanted to showcase kind of the different things that go on at a magician's uh, events. This week I have five gigs to get to in three days. This is the first one. I'm here at the Story Bridge Hotel and uh, I'm gonna try and bring you along to all of them. Hopefully it doesn't get too hectic and I have to cut this out. So if you're watching this video already, then uh, I managed to film it all. So let's go ahead and see what happens at the first event. All right, I'm happy to report show number one was a success. They're all vanished now. And, but this is the setup, so this it was like a dinner table show, after dinner show. And what was really interesting is there's a big mirror behind me. And sometimes you don't, you can't expect what's gonna happen in a show. So literally, I was standing right there where all those cards are, and I had to do the show with people behind me. So you just gotta work with what, with what happens, but so nonetheless, we got past it all. Oh, and one person on the show, boom. All right, venue number two. But this time, I'm not doing the magic. I'm actually here to support my good friends, Pete Booth and Sean Mogard, performing their show, their magic show, Nefarious. And I'm gonna enjoy myself. And this is actually between two shows I'm doing today. So this is actually the break. The break is seeing another show. So let's go and enjoy it. I love me some magic. That was awesome. Now I'm racing back to my car to make it to the last magic event for the night. Let's go. Done. That is the last event for tonight, finished. This crowd, a little bit different. Every event's different. This one had a younger, sort of drinking more kind of crowd. And I had to work the room. I had to do a bit of audience management because some people are drunk. And with magic, there's a fine line. It works like this. Like magic looks awesome, awesome. They freak out more because they're more relaxed. And then they become like kids and they want to grab everything and yell and things. Um, so, you know, you get used to that kind of stuff. And audience management teaches you to avoid them. Nonetheless, so thankful to have someone that will you know pay me to come and do what i love doing so it was a really great crowd i'm gonna go home and get some sleep before i start tomorrow let's go home all right day two feeling good i'm back here at the powerhouse but this time it's for my own gig but uh private style not a theater show as cool as my friends uh, well, let's head in, see how we go. Let's do it. All shows are done. I didn't really have time between each show to comment on, on how they both went because I did one show and I literally had to drive straight to the second one, but it did go well. And uh, it's pretty late now, it's 11.30 and I'm heading home now. Obviously do not obstruct this. <laughs> uh, but today is day two, so we're up to the fourth gig done now with just one more tomorrow, a quick meeting in the morning and then and then joint gig tomorrow. Tomorrow one's gonna be pretty fun, so stay tuned for that but uh, let me get some sleep and uh, today's events just went really smoothly. There was no real life lesson here for me to take away. It's just that it's beautiful to have an, a fun event that just runs really well. Everyone laughs, has fun and um, it all goes to plan. Good night guys.
that's a wrap. That is the last event with the help of my lovely assistant here. And thanks for watching, guys. Now we're going to go home and relax after these big three days. And uh, I'm going to get bitten for sure. All right, see you guys later.